to another GeoSnap. Now in ArcGIS Pro, users can access open data from the Microsoft Player to Computer using the new Staff Connection functionality. This lets us access petabytes of environmental monitoring data in the form of rasters and imagery data sets. So let's take a look at how we can get started today. We're going to start in ArcGIS Pro by hitting Insert, Connections, Stack Connection, New Stack Connection. From here, we're going to give our Stack Connection a name. It can be anything. After that, under Connection, we're going to choose Microsoft Planner to Computer. It is built into ArcGIS Pro. From here, we need to choose our cloud storage connections. These are going to be ACS files. It's likely you don't have them on your computer, but we can go to Google and simply download them. Type in ArcGIS for MPC and click on the first result that comes up. From here, click on Code and choose Download Zip. Now back in ArcGIS Pro, we can navigate to the folder that we downloaded. We're going to be looking for the ACS files folder. From here, we can choose which ACS files we want to bring in. You can choose one ACS file or multiple. Each ACS file corresponds to a specific data set on the Microsoft Planner computer. A link to the data catalog is included below. A stacks folder is now available in our catalog. We can open it up by right clicking it and going explore stack. I'll search for what data set I'm interested in, Sentinel-2 imagery, and go ahead and choose it from the table of contents. Now I can select what date of imagery I'm interested in. I'll choose imagery from 2025 up till today. Next, let's narrow down our extent a bit by zooming into our location on a map. From here, I'll choose extent and choose current display extent. We then have an option to look at any specific attributes in our data. When looking at satellite imagery, you may want to avoid results that have lots of cloud cover. So I'm going to specify that I want my results to have a cloud cover that is less than 10%. I'll click view results to see the data that matches my search criteria. You can easily see the acquisition date and the cloud cover. I'll choose add to current map to see my results in ArcGIS Pro. Once added, I can see this data in my table of contents as well. From there, I can start interacting with it just like any other raster layer. Let's zoom in to see our Sentinel imagery in more detail. We can choose the raster layer button in the top ribbon to start interacting with this data in more ways as well. I'll hit the DRA button to automatically adjust the brightness and contrast. I then can use the band combinations option to see my imagery in color infrared. This is just a small example of what can be done when working with data from the Microsoft Planner computer in ArcGIS. Why don't you take a look at the data catalog and get started today.